Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Generation Films. My name is American Ben. I've been up for a while researching Batman suits, and I'm absolutely fine. See, you all deserve high quality content, and that is what we are going to give you, damn it. The goal for today is to deliver the most comprehensive video on Batman suits in the history of YouTube. And it's not an easy undertaking as Batman is the king of armor, even more so than Iron Man. Batman, as a normal human, has had to figure out ways to outmatch all sorts of infinitely powered superheroes and supervillains for 80 years. In this video, we will include all Batman suit types from movies, comics, and the most significant cartoons in video games. We are not going to include Legos though, because that's more of the Lego universe, which maybe we'll cover one day as well. Oh, and we worked very hard on this video, so if you enjoy it, at the end, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, my extraterrestrial hating friends, let's start with live action bat suits. The few different 1940s live action bat suits, along with the comical Adam West bat suit from the late 1960s, were both just skin tight pajama like suits. Next, we have to quickly mention the 1970 Neil Adams design suit that debuted in Detective Comics number 395. The suit is iconic, adding three fins to the gauntlets and embedding claws in the fingers for climbing and a capsule utility belt. Even though that's a comic suit, we point that out because the 1989 Tim Burton bat suit is based on the Neil Adams Batman and introduces the grapple gun to the suit. The 1992 follow-up Batman Returns features a similar bat suit, but was made out of a thinner, more flexible foam rubber material. This bat suit's cape can also change into a glider. The bat armor from 1995's Batman Forever, the first live action suit to really look like armor, featured an energy binder, bat bolo, grapple gun, fire shield cape, welding laser, and batarangs. The movie also featured a sonar bat suit that had high tech sonar modifications, a gauntlet mounted twin grapple, and large batarang eye lenses. The bat suit from 1997's Batman and Robin was similar to the sonar bat suit and featured magnets, a wrist mounted grapple gun, bat bomb, ice skates, laser, and a buzzsaw. The ice armor from the same movie was produced by coating his sonar bat suit with specialized armor plating that rendered Batman immune to freeze gun blasts. The suit also featured bat heaters and a laser gun. Next is the bat suit from Batman Begins, also known as the Nomex survival suit. The suit, based on an advanced infantry armor system, is made from Nomex, a flame resistant meta aramid material. The suit has a long list of features, including built in temperature regulators, Kevlar bi weave protection that can stop slash attacks or bullets, an advanced eavesdropping device device, a memory cloth cape, and a utility belt with magnetized impact resistant pouches and canisters attached to it. The bat suit from The Dark Knight is made of hardened Kevlar plates on titanium dripped tri-weave fibers, but is broken into multiple pieces of armor over a more flexible bodysuit for greater mobility. The greater mobility does render Batman more vulnerable to attacks though. That said, the blades on the gauntlets are now retractable and can fire outwards as projectiles. The Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice bat suit is made of a Kevlar titanium weave making it highly durable. The cowl and neck area feature fabric coated titanium alloy plating for extra protection. The armored bat suit from Dawn of Justice is a powered exoskeleton built to counter Superman's strength. It's equipped with a kryptonite gas grenade launcher and a kryptonite spear. This suit of course is heavily based on the armor from the DC Universe animated film The Dark Knight Returns, also built for an aging Bruce Wayne to battle Superman. Of course, all of these are inspired by the bat suit from Frank Miller's Batman, published in 1986. A year later, Frank Miller and David Mazzuccelli debuted the Batman Year One suit as well. Next is the Dawn of Justice Nightmare suit. This technically isn't real as it appeared in a bad dream, but it's basically a bat suit with a trench coat over it and sand goggles over the mask. With this suit, Batman wields an assault rifle, a handgun, and a set of binoculars. Finally, the Justice League bat suit is known as the Tactical bat suit. It's similar to his bat suit from the previous film, but features more armoring, including extra metallic plating on the forearms and night owl aping goggles. Next, we move over to comics armor, and this stuff is cool. Nerd, engage. First, we have to give a nod to the original basic suit that debuted in Detective Comics number 27. This was the first suit designed by Bill Finger and Bob Kane in 1939. It was basic as fook. Gray tights, black trunks, a scalloped cape, and a bulletproof vest underneath. Well, I suppose if we go in chronological order within the Batman universe, technically the first bat suit from the comics was the bat suit Thomas Wayne wore to a costume ball years before his son would rise as Batman. But anyway, the Batman Incorporated bat suit from 2011 paid homage to Bill Finger's original suit by making the cape more like the wingspan of a bat. 
Next, the new 52 suit is also a modern take on the classic Bill Finger Batsuit that features extremely form-fitting tech and materials. The Silver Age Batman from the 1960s added the gold oval to the Batman suit. The Troika Batsuit from the 1995 Troika storyline introduced an all coal and gray suit to the mix, removed Batman's signature trunks, and added spikes to his boots. The turn of the millennium No Man's Land suit most notably featured a much larger belt than usual. Next, we have Batman's Superman armor. In Superman Batman Annual No. 2, the Man of Steel loses his powers and Batman created an armored suit in order to assume the role of Superman and battle Metallo. Next, the Hellbat armor is made up of a nanokinetic metallic composition which allows the suit to be equipped via a voice-activated AI and features cloaking technology that can make it appear invisible. The wings are made out of the same nanoparticle material and can change shape. The suit does drain Batman's metabolism though, so he can't wear it too long without the side effect of dying. Next, the legendary Hazbat suit is a composite armor made of lightweight materials and is capable of withstanding a blast from Superman. The suit, of course, has enhanced thermal imaging and provides complete protection from harmful gases and viruses. The first Batwing suit is made of an unknown metal that's capable of withstanding small explosions and is also bulletproof and shock resistant. It also has a jetpack which allows Batman to fly. The upgraded Batwing suit, worn by Lucas Fox, can't fly, but instead has advanced gliding capabilities and can project holograms for people outside the suit to see. It can detect broken bones and stiffen the injured area like a cast. It also has pores on the fingertips that can be used to expel gases, such as a sedative mist. The Suit of Sorrows was created in the year 1190 during the Crusades and is given to Batman by Talia al Ghul. The suit makes Batman stronger and faster, but also more violent. Next, the Man Bat Serum Suit is just the product of Batman injecting the Suit of Sorrows with the Man Bat Serum. Doing so turns the armor into an exoskeletal suit with the abilities of a bat. The suit's extending metal arms can deliver electric shocks into the ground, and the suit also has a negative refractive index that turns Batman invisible. The stealth suit is able to operate along the full electromagnetic spectrum and can adapt to almost all detection technology and powers. It can even hide from Superman's X-ray and other supervisions. The Kingdom Come suit from the Future Reality series of the same name is an armor that allows a retired Batman to fight like a young man again. The suit has flight capabilities and twin-mounted lasers. Next, the Batman Beyond suit worn by Terry McGinnis does the usual enhancements to Batman's speed and strength, but also has rocket boots for thrust, retractable wings, and can also generate its own batarangs. Then, the Batman Beyond Rebirth suit is one of the coolest looking suits of all time, debuting in Batman Beyond number four and paying homage to the Batmobile from the Adam West Batman show from the 60s, this suit is made up of a lightweight material and adds bulletproof deployable wings. The suit also has condensed capsule grenades, batarang launchers in the gloves, and echolocation technology. The Justice Armor, built for Batman to protect from Brainiac's mind control, not only has anti-telepathic capabilities, but also includes propulsion-based flight technology. The Augmentation Suit is built by Batman so he can face Terminus' own special suit. The suit not only enhances Batman's strength and agility more than other armored suits, but it is strong enough to stop a nuclear missile. The Thrasher suit is not built for combat, but for survival. The suit is made up of meta aramid fibers and thus can withstand all sorts of extreme temperatures and produce enough oxygen for Batman to survive for weeks. Though it does have offensive capabilities, including the ability to emit an EMP and shoot cryogenic batarangs and electrostatic needles. Next, we have the Power Ring suits. Batman has worn various Power Rings from the Green Lantern Corps over the years, which produced green, black, yellow, and white suits, each with different powers akin to those of the Green Lantern Corps. Batman also became a version of the Green Lantern himself, and evil Earth-32 Bruce Wayne wore the Dawnbreaker suit. Another well-known armor is the Justice Buster, aka Fenrir. The Justice Buster is one of the all-time strongest armors and is able to withstand attacks from each member of the Justice League. For example, the suit contains a powdered magnesium carbonate foam that sucks moisture from Aquaman, thus drying him up. The suit also has microscopic red giants, which are red suns from a dead solar system, built into the suit's fists to add some power to Batman's punches against Superman. 
The Insider Suit is similar to the Justice Buster, but instead of being designed to combat the other Justice League heroes, it's built to mimic their abilities. It contains a Spectral Mode for Night Operation, a Speed Force Mode, a Heat Vision Mode, a Willpower Mode, a Camouflage Mode, a Veritas Mode, and a Flight Mode. The Intimidator Suit is body armor Batman wears to battle Shredder in the 2016 Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. The Batman 41 suit from Batman number 41 is an anime-inspired modern medieval take on the Batsuit. And with Bruce Wayne seemingly dead, it's worn by Commissioner Gordon, who wears a taser gun with the suit. Also in Batman number 41 is the Project Batman armor, which is worn over a regular Batsuit. This badass mech suit features a graphene exoskeleton, retinal and thermal imaging, and night vision. Among the suit's bevy of other tech are shoulder-mounted retractable rocket launchers, arm-mounted cannons, camouflage, bomb shield, nitrous oxide propulsion, rocket thrust boosts, and anti-gravity magnavolt all-terrain stabilizers. The Red Sun suit is the bat suit worn by Russian Batman in the Superman Red Sun series. The suit is not overly technologically advanced, but it does have anti-Stalinist vibes. The Wrath Suit from Detective Comics Annual No. 2 is a suit I wish we knew more about because it's one of my favorites. What we do know about it is that it allows Batman to battle heavily armored supervillain Wrath and thus is probably nearly indestructible. Of course, we have to count the robots on this list, which are unmanned drone bat suits. The Futures End Suit from the New 52 Futures End Volume 1 No. 12 helps to keep Batman alive 30 years into the future. The Trinity Suit allows Year 1 Batman to fight against Bizarro. The suit features deployable electrically charged steel mesh netting, mounted solar lasers, jetpack propulsion, spiked boot heels, and knuckle dusters on its gauntlets. As you might be recognizing, a lot of Batsuits have jetpacks, but perhaps the coolest one is the Jetpack Batsuit from Detective Comics No. 12. The Doom Link Suit features Cyberlink armor technology that renders Batman extremely durable and allows him to interact with technology in his vicinity. The Predator armor is an exoskeleton that allows Batman to fight the Predator in the 1991 comic Batman vs. Predator. The suit uses sonar to match the Predator's cloaking technology, enhances Batman's strength, and renders him invulnerable to slash attacks. Even Alfred gets in on the action. The DC 1 million Batsuit features collapsible armor, a fireproof cape, night vision camouflage built-in wings, hologram projection, and a built-in bat computer. The Azrael Batsuit, also known as the Az Batsuit, was the suit made and worn by temporary Batman John Paul Valley. The suit, debuting in Batman number 500, has razor discs and all sorts of blades and hidden weapons. The Mask of Tengu suit is a martial arts getup worn by Batman during his retraining under Lady Shiva. Dick Grayson also gets a Batsuit following Bruce Wayne's death by way of Darkseid. Dick got rid of the regular cape, opting for a paracape instead, and uses a lighter Kevlar to reduce weight for mobility, akin to his Darkwing costume. Next, we have Rainbow Batman from 1957's Detective Comics number 241. Batman wore multiple suits, each a color of the rainbow, in order to distract from people noticing that both Robin and Dick Grayson had an injured arm at the same time, thus revealing his identity. Next, the Zurin R Batsuit is worn by the alien Batman of a parallel universe named Talano, a recurring character over the years who first appears in the 1958 comic Batman Volume 1, number 113. The Zebra Batsuit from 1960's Detective Comics number 275 is created when the same machine that gives Zebra Man his powers turns Batman into Zebra Batman, who repels all solid matter. The 50s and 60s era of Batman suits also saw Mummy Batman and Jungle Batman suits. Batman has had many, many suits over the years that feature clear cosmetic changes from one suit to the next, but that we don't have that much info for. There's the Long Halloween suit, the Thrill Killer Batsuit, Jason Todd Batsuit, Justice League 3000 Batsuit, Earth 1 Batsuit, Earth 2 Batsuit, Lord Batman's armor for battling Justice Lord Superman, Lord Batman's synthetic kryptonite batsuit for when the previous suit doesn't do the trick, the Bat-Zaro suit, the Batman space suit, the Earth-51 suit, the Generation Lost suit, the Age of Wonder suit, the Superman Batman number 59 suit, the Hush Bat suit, and the Noel Bat suit. Batman has also worn a bunch of fantasy-inspired suits. The Dark Knight of the Round Table armor is medieval armor, of course. The Gotham by Gaslight Batsuit is a steampunk Batsuit that Batman used in 1889 to battle Jack the Ripper. The Batman Sorcerer King suit is worn by Batman to battle a horde of Solomon Grundys. Then there's the Justice League Gods and Monsters suit, and of course, the Vampire suit. 
There's also an assortment of significant animated cartoon bat suits. There's the Batman the Animated Series suit, a back to the basic suit without much gadgetry, the fireproof bat suit from the new Batman Adventures, which helps Batman defeat Firefly, the Brave and the Bold suit, the Batman Beyond Bat armor that an older Bruce Wayne builds to keep him fighting crime, the Batman Savage armor from the Justice League Animated Series, the Justice Lords bat suit also from Justice League, the Justice League Unlimited suit, the Batbot Exo suit from the Batman, and the Bat suit from Batman Unlimited Mechs vs. Mutant. This film also has a mech bat suit as well that helps Batman defeat Killer Croc and his entourage of mutants. Finally, we have the major video game bat suits. The Batman Arkham Origins suit, a prequel game to the rest of the series, features a heavily armored bat suit with detective technology, most notably an investigation capability that allows Batman to link to the bat computer in the bat cave to review video of crimes from different angles and at different speeds. The Arkham Asylum bat suit is a heavily armored suit with a detective mode that allows Batman to see through walls and track enemies. The Arkham City Batsuit has many of the previous game suit's features and is made from a titanium fiber cast with Kevlar plates. The suit also features a holographic screen projector in the right gauntlet. The Arkham Knight Batsuit is a fairly big step up. It's composed of a tri-weave Kevlar with ceramic plates. The suit features a liquid armor system that hardens on impacts and allows for greater maneuverability. The suit's subsystems are also symbiotically linked with the Batmobile, allowing for remote control of the vehicle via Batman's gauntlets. The bat suit from Injustice Gods Among Us is reinforced with triple weave Kevlar inlays and carbon nanotube fibers, making it resistant to almost all physical attacks and some magical ones as well. It also features long, sharp blades on the gauntlets. The bat suit in the sequel, Injustice 2, is more simple looking, but also heavily fortified armor. Whew, we are done. I never want to hear the words triple weave Kevlar again. As always, let me know in the comments if I missed any suits. If you liked the video, please show us some love by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. We very much appreciate it. For now, I'm American Ben reminding you, aliens suck. I'll catch you next time. Generation Films, peace.